Hello everybody, welcome back. Now we got some CRL action on our hats. It's going to be our green team in the lower bracket looking to make a run here as they're taking on University of Kansas here. It is a best of three and we are underway. Absolutely, I've been excited for this. We've been waiting for this. We're excited to see the green team right now. Jazzy passing it out, blocking out that. As it's going to be Chura, Sauce, and Alpaca taking on Fab, so Jazzy and a Shuffleverse. Sauce gonna go for a shot there. Jazzy finds the save. Still, Saints in a bit of danger, looking to get rid of this one. He would get it up the field. Sauce, though, finds a nice touch. Fabso is there for the pass. Is anyone gonna be there on the follow? Doesn't look like it is. University of, Car of Kansas get the defense. Yeah, we're gonna take it into their corner. We've got Jazzy up for the ball to get around the 50. Now the next man up should be Shuffle. Shuffle banging it out into their corner. We've got Sauce getting it back. A little bit of a bump there. We've got Fabzo looking to bring it to the front, but sadly didn't. Jazzy's there. Holy Shuffle can make something. Oh, and just about. It's a nice save from Sauce. Alpaca looking to bring it up the field here. Over one, past two. Now Cura's on the ball. Let's see what Fablo can do. Shuffles on the ball. Passing it out. Should be a touch for Jazzy. Taking up the corner. 50 from Alpaca. One pass. And Jazzy. Jazzy's almost there. But sadly, blacked out for his sauce. Well, we've got Fabzo up. Fabzo's faking it. We've got Chura. And there's Shuffle up for the ball. And we're seeing a lot of action here, but we're not seeing a lot of plays made here. We're not seeing a lot of goals. Yeah, Saints had a couple dangerous opportunities, but couldn't get one to fall just yet. It is a best of three. Loser is out, by the way. So a very important game for both teams. Saints definitely looking to win it here. That's a great start for them as Jazz. He's going to find the opening goal of the series. Shuffle verse with a nice assist there. Saints take the lead. They, they desperately need it. Absolutely beautiful, a tight angle there and almost got blocked out, but luckily the Saints green team is landing this one up. Yeah, but now off kickoff, nothing silly here for either side. It's going to be the Saints though who get a two on one, but they're just going to let that one sit in the back, pick up some boosts and look to restart their attack. Yeah, Shuffle's looking to lead the attack here with Jazzy close to follow. Jazzy's up, looking to get off the back wall, maybe for Fabso. I see a bump out there. Fabso got demoed. Another bump out there. Shuffle's down. Now Fabso's back, hitting the ball up. Shuffle is soon to follow, or maybe not. Jazzy's up for the ball, bringing it to the corner. Touch it again. We've got Alpaca there, ready to defend. And we got another demo out there. And another demo. This game is just full of demos and full of destruction. Yeah, a lot of demos. Neither team, though, can't capitalize too much off it. But it's the Saints in the lead. And as long as they're attacking over and over here, they put on the presser Jazzy with a nice shot, but a crucial touch from the defender here. University of Kansas have a counter. There's nobody in the net. And just like that, we have a tie game. Yes, we had a beautiful flick there from Chura, getting us a tie game there. Shuffle was back, but the flick was just too fast for him, and he didn't have enough boost in the tank. And now Tida won a piece. Saints gonna have to do a lot more. They want to get out of this loser's bracket and look to win the whole thing. It's gonna be fab, so with a nice start off the kickoff again. But Saints yet again can't find anything, and nobody's back. Just Jazzy will be able to get the ball. Their shovelers does get a demo here. As Jazzy, beautiful attack from him, but a nice save yet again from Alpaca, able to keep University of Kansas in it. Yeah, Jazzy landed the beautiful flip free set, but sadly couldn't capitalize anything off of that. We've got Fabzo touching the ball. Sauce is hitting it up off the back. Oh, and we got a miss from Chura. Our pack has got to clean it up. Fabzo looking to touch the ball, get it out off the same side. Now we've got Fabzo following it up, coming back for some boost. Sauce popping it up. Shuffleverse looking to hit it down. Chura's maybe control it. That did get past Fabzo. Fabzo's taking it up. Zero boost. Jazzy's close to follow. And Alpaca's just barely getting it out of the net. And this has uh, been a pretty close game so far on the side of Saints and Kansas. Yeah, absolutely. But there's going to be Fabs with a full court shot. I'm not going to be able to find the goal there. Shuffleverse looking for that 50. Gets a nice touch. Chura hits it up to Sauce now. Sauce looking to take it past defenders. Fabso is there for the defense. He's going to be able to get the clearance. A minute left. One more goal could be the deciding goal in this game. One Saints looking to push on the attack. Chura though finds a touch, but 
I didn't see if Kansas maybe get too confident there. They did get too many people up upfield, and Jazzy on the flip side gets the finish. Nice pass there from uh, Shuffle versus Jazzy. Gets the perfect play there. Nice shot on target. Saints take the lead 2-1. to one. Both goals, beautiful plays from Shuffle and Jazzy. Jazzy being the equalizer and Shuffle making the play happen for Jazzy. Now we've got a little bit of a pop and a bump. Alpaca's looking to capitalize it, bringing it up to the backboard. Fabzo to touch, Sauce to touch. Now it's in front of the net and Jazzy just gets it out and it's a free net. But no, Jazzy's demoed. Now we're coming back. Sauce is taken in slow. Fabzo's up, he touches it. Now we've got Shuffleverse up. Oh, and that kind of went the wrong way for him. I didn't think he was going for that direction of pinch. Yeah, Saints just need to hold on here with 15 seconds. The ball's right in front of their net, though. How did it get there? Alpaca gets it set up perfectly. Let's see what happened. Again, Fabso just misses it, and it's just a crucial mistake with time ticking down. University of Kansas capitalized, and we're tied at two with 15 seconds to go. Yeah, see, Fabso didn't really have any boost there to work with, neither Jazzy. Shuffle was the only one in that scenario, and it was kind of a miscommunication between Shuffle and Jazz to see who would get that defense. But now, eight seconds counting down. It looks like oh. we're on overtime, but there was a close goal there. Nice save out from Jazzy. Bobbed out, and it's down. And unless the Saints can capitalize on something there, Jazzy up to hit it again. Sadly, Sauce bumps it out. Fabzo, hopefully take it up on the wall. Going up, another touch. Is someone there? Nope, sadly. Alpaca just bumping it out, just defending it. And Fabzo's there. Nope, and it's looking to touch the ground. Nope, Shuffle's there, keeping it up on zero boost. Now Sauce looking to get it out of their side of the field. There's a close match, but now we're going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're going to overtime. Tied at two apiece. Next goal wins it. And Saints have a wide open net. Can Fabso find anything? No, it's great defense from Matura Sauce. Now looking to start the counter attack with Jazzy. Does find a crucial touch there. And it's a shot on target. Shura should be here for the defense. Shuffleverse goes for the fake. And yet another follow up going to be there from the Saints. Jazzy finds the game winning goal. The Saints take the first game. Absolute MVP of the game, Jazzy getting three goals to equalize and win out the game. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful team composition, I have to say. Like, Jazzy was set up so many times by Shuffle and Fabzo to get the goals that won out the game. And it was a pretty close game, to be honest. Like, there were definitely some scenarios where there was, like, some poor communication. Like, obviously, that time where they got their second goal on the side of Kansas, where Shuffle didn't... Shuffle was the only one on the team that had boost to work with, but he didn't on our side, he didn't really communicate about that with the team to say, okay, guys, I'm going to get for the ball. Jazzy was trying to make some play there, but it all worked out in the end. Yeah, in the end, Saints do get the victory in a very, very close matchup. And, you know, they're fighting for their tournament lives here. Definitely expect them to be gritty and gritty they are. They take it in overtime. But it's a very, very close series, as you said. Both teams getting a couple goals. I think uh, Saints have to... Really lock in here, make sure that these mistakes right in front of your net don't happen too often because against the best of the best teams, I mean, that's just not going to work. Yeah, no, it's a big thing to consider. You have to consider that communication with your team. You have to consider your boost consumption. You have to consider who's up next, who's the second man, who's the third man, and how are you guys doing that? But here we are in the game two. Yeah, let's see if Saints can get off to a hot start. They win the kickoff again. Fabso is going to be at half court, looking to pass it to a teammate. Can he find anything? No. Sauce will be there with the clearance. Jazzy will find a big touch, but Saints playing with it off into the field now. Fabso trying to get it to himself. Nice defense from University of Kansas. Saints are looking strong in game two here. Yes, it's beautiful defense from Kansas so far. Saints are going at it with everything they've got. Guy after guy, shot after shot, bang after bang. But now it's coming back on the side of the Saints, and Kansas is looking to capitalize on some aggression there. we got Jazzy following up the ball. Alpaca, hopefully get a cut, and maybe, nope, Fazos to defend it. Fazos following up the ball, it's back in the corner, bopping out. Jazzy's to follow it, he's got it out. Sally Alpaca blocked that. Just moving up on the side of Kansas. Fabzo's up with zero boost on the wall. He touches it, gets it past him just slightly. Now Jazzy to follow up. Jazzy's up. He's got a little bit of boost to play this. Doesn't get the flick, sadly. Doesn't get the reset. 
Sadly, he's on zero boost now. Shuffle just beat out, and now we're looking come to coming back on the Saints side, and Fabso just gets the defense. Big save there from Fabso, but Sauce gets a nice pass, not to himself though, almost a no goal there. Still, Saints holding on for dear life. As long as the goal ball doesn't go in the net, doesn't matter what happens back there. Now Jazz is going to look to take it himself. Sauce gets the initial stop. Shuffle though is going to have it right in front of them. Chura will be able to win that one now. Puts it into the corner and the Saints defend for a little bit longer here. Looks like that's going to be the case. Nice 50 there from Fabso. Is that on target? No, just a little bit too high. Follow up is not there. Now it's University of Kansas that had an opportunity there, but they have a couple members pretty deep now. Can Jazzy look to capitalize off this? Doesn't find the pass. Nice defense there from Alpha. Yes, it's beautiful playing for both teams so far. We've got Chura up, Fabzo to touch it. Then we get another touch off of that. Win the 50 just a little bit. Sauce has got some boost to work with. Fabzo's got nothing. He's got to get back. Jazzy and Shuffle both got some boost to work with. Now it's coming back to the corner of Kansas. Shuffle's up, misses it, and Jazzy! Ooh. Jazzy for the goal, beautifully starting off our game strong with two minutes and 45 left on the clock. Saints get ahead yet again. Nice shot there from Jazz. He gets it past the goalkeeper as they have the 1 0 lead, but we know University of Kansas can definitely get their get back here. So Saints going to have to still be as focused as ever, maybe try and expand their lead. Yes, well, this is beautiful so far from the whole team, but the highlight, Jazzy, has been the playmaker so far, getting all the goals on the green side. And now we see a bump actually coming out to Jazzy. Fabzo trying to get it out. It's coming to the corner to Jazzy. Now Fabzo's up for it. Touch just misses it. Now Sauce is up, bringing it on to the side of St. Clair. It's coming up, gets it just past Shuffle. Fabzo, not barely. Chura's up to defend it, hopefully. And now Shuffle versus getting it out off of their side. Yeah, it's going to be the Saints on the attack. A nice take there by Shuffle, but there is a defender. A lot of demos for University of Kansas coming out in this game, but it hasn't led to much. They're struggling to find a goal here in the second game. There's a nice move there from Chura. Gets a pass one, but Sauce forced to make an easy save there on that shot. Sauce is going to take it into enemy territory, but Jazzy is there for the clearance. And could Jazzy find the solo goal? Yes, he can. That doubles the Saints lead, and it's Jazzy yet again making his own play this time, taking it across the whole field by himself, and no defense coming out from the University of Kansas. A nice lead for the Saints. I'm going to be honest, we might have to rebrand the St. Clair Saints team to the St. Clair Jazzy team. Jazzy is leading the charge right now with five goals for the whole team. And Sauce looks to get one back, is not able to find it. A minute 30, Kansas need to do a lot to get themselves back in this game. Yeah, we've got Fabzo coming up. Oh, just misses it. It's on the side of Kansas. Now Jazzy to follow up. Coming down to shuffle. He's got a little bit of boost to play with. Can pass it. Nope, sadly not. Bang it out. Jazzy, though, almost, but nice save from the side of Kansas. We've got a lot of demos. We've got a lot of pumping. And we're getting, we're getting to that time. We've got a minute left. Kansas has got to make something happen here. Otherwise, the Saints are going to take the second game in the series. And Jazzy gets the hat trick right on cue. And that might be the nail in the coffin tab. So with a beautiful touch. And Jazzy just follows it up. Nobody from Kansas in sight. You have to think that's all she wrote. Absolutely. I'm... God, we got to see something from the University of Kansas right now. Sauce, Chura, Alpaca, they got to make something happen, whether it be on the defensive side or the offensive. And we see Alpaca again a little offensive there. Now Chura's up, but Fabzo just beat him out. Sauce bumping it out to the side of St. Clair. Maybe for a follow-up. No, nope, Chura just misses it. Now Shuffle's on the ball with zero boost, hoping to follow it up. Gets a little bit of a 50 on Alpaca. And now Sauce to bounce it out. Jazzy to follow it up. Fabzo to get a touch and maybe a goal but sadly Alpaca blocked it. Yeah, and as the clock ticks, I think both teams know the outcome of this game. Kansas just haven't gotten anything to go on the attack inside of Saints looking to put in the fourth goal. Saints are looking beautiful right now. They're looking confident. They're looking composed. And we're going to get one on the side of Kansas. We're going to get one goal to Saucy, which will be a beautiful goal. But I don't think they can get two in 15 seconds. I would bet my money that this is a closed game. Yeah, you'd have to think so, but Saints, you know, have to be careful here. Anything is possible in the world of Rocket League. So let's see how this kickoff goes. 
it's going to be good for University of Kansas. They're actually going to get a decent attack off this, but Saints get a stop, and if they can just wind this clock down to a second, if they can get a stop on Tachuri here, which Dazzy is able to do. That's going to be it. The Saints will be moving on no matter what, even though Sauce puts in a second goal to make it look like it was a bit of a closer game than it was. It's going to be your Saints taking the series 2-0 and moving on in the lower brackets. It was a nice goal not to leave the game on a sour note for University of Kansas, but beautifully done from our St. Clair Saints green team. And I'm going to be honest, there's no name that comes to my mind on this team greater than Jazzy. I'm going to be honest. Six goals in the whole of the two games that they played. Absolutely phenomenal and game winning. Yeah, I mean, Jazzy had a great, great uh, set of games there. But if they want to continue their lower back run, they're going to need everybody to step up to the plate. And they did in that game. They set up Jazzy, the rest of the team. So it's definitely a team effort, not just Jazzy carrying his team. He's more up there up front, finding those goals. And they've just done a great job of setting him up, finding the right bumps, finding the right pass to have their success. Yes, that's a beautiful thing you got to consider on Rocket League is you can't just have a team of all-star shooters sharp shooters you need a team that can work together that can be the playmakers that can be the defenders that can be the people to say okay i'm going to set you up okay i'm going to defend this okay i'm going to bump it out like this that can communicate well and work together well because if you just have a team of all sharp shooters and people who are good on their own it doesn't work on the team side it doesn't at all yeah and you know now the saints will be moving on and I think they have at least two more matches today if they want to make it to the uh, second day tomorrow. So there's still going to be a lot of a Rocket League left. Let's take a look at the bracket, actually, so we know exactly what we are dealing with. The Saints, you know, had a bit of a rough start. They did lose in the upper, but now you could see they beat University of Kansas 2-0. And they are going to be playing against the winner of Bruton Parker and Illinois State University, that match has uh, just started. And, uh, you know, Saints are just going to be waiting patiently. And if they win their next matchup, they're going to be going up against Saints Edward University. Yes, it's going to be a beautiful day with a lot of games planned. And I think this is going to be an absolute banger. I think that the team's got a good start with this first game under their belt. And I think they're going to carry the momentum. I think that's not only just for our Overwatch team that we were talking about a little later today. Also for all of our teams here at St. Clair Saints. Once we get the momentum, we don't stop. And you can see our gold team is awaiting to play the winner of Cleveland State over there. Cleveland State University against LCU. Uh, Esports Blue, and then if they're able to win that, they're going to be playing the winner of Harrisburg University or Ball State Black. So still a lot of work to do for the Saints here today to get to day two, but they're both in action, they're both ready, and they're both ready to compete. Absolutely. Seeing off that first game, the, seeing the team compositions, te seeing the plays that were made, seeing the defense as well, most notably, it was amazing. And I think they set the moment and they set the tone right to com go into these next two games or this next game, hopefully next two games if we continue onward. And I'm hopefully interested to see what can be made there. Yeah, and speaking of our teams, the next team we're going to be watching is our gold team. They are soon to get into game. And, you know, th both teams, unfortunately, lost in the upper bracket, trying to make this run through the lower bracket to make it into uh, day two. It's going to be our gold team coming up next. They need to win three more matches today to make that happen. Hopefully, they can start things off on the right foot as well with a win here. Absolutely. I'm confident in both teams, gold and green. We've got great rosters. We've got great players. And we don't have all sharpshooters. We've got some people that are good with team composition. We've got some people that are good with communicating. And overall, some great people. I've talked to a couple of the guys on each of the rosters. They're amazing. They're amazing to hang out with. They're amazing to play with. They're amazing to get to know. And that doesn't just play into their level of like personality and liking them it also plays into their games that they play on stage yeah and you know with all that being said we're just getting ready to get into game but we're gonna throw it to a very very short break don't go anywhere we'll be right back with the team gold